today I'm here with a new video and uh, fudged up hair. So today I'm going to tell you 10 things I want to buy from Beauty Bay. And no, I'm not going to buy all of these products because then I don't have any money left. But it's 10 things on my wish list. You can say it like that. So <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all of these 10 products. So I think we just hop into the video. So we can start with a palette from Colored Rain. I really love Colored Rain. I have the Vivid Pigment and Queen of Hearts palette. And they are so good, both of them. And it's really, really good quality on these shadows. And they are so nice to work with. And there is one more palette from Colored Rain that I want. And it's the Shears to the Beauty. I have talked about this palette before. I really, 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 really want this one. But it's a pretty expensive palette, it's around 500 Swedish crowns and I don't know if I will love all of the shadows in it, so yeah, I'm not going to buy it, but if somebody say, hello, I want to give you this, I would take it, immediately I would take it. Next up I have two products from Jeffree Star that I want to buy, the first one is the Blood Sugar palette. And if I'm going to be honest, it's mostly for the packaging, but also the colors, of course. But I really like the packaging on that palette. It's one of the coolest packaging I have seen. And yeah, I really like it. Um, but that is also an expensive palette. And I don't know if I'm going to love all of the colors. But... I think it looks so so cool and most of the colors are really cool. cool. <laughs> I love the red ones and everything and people say that his shadows is really really good. The other product from Jeffree Star is one of his lip scrubs. And I mainly want this because I've heard it's really really good and it's vegan and it's edible. I hate lip scrubs lip scrubs that you cannot eat because it's on your lips it's going to be in your mouth so yeah but I have heard that his lip scrubs is really really good so I really want to try one of them out then we have three palettes from Juvia's Place that I really want to buy and these three I think I will buy all of them or at least two of them. And the first one is the Mini Masquerade palette. And I want to buy the Mini because I have the Magic palette, the big one. And I are never going to use up these shadows. They are so freaking huge. And it's enough with the Mini. And it's easier to store that palette. So I would really like to buy the Mini Masquerade palette. And I think I'm going to. I don't know when, but someday it's going to be mine. The other two palettes from Juvia's Place. I'm not sure if I want both of them or just one of them. And that is the Saharan palettes. There is two Saharan 1 and Saharan 2. Easy as that. I don't know if I want both of them or just one of them. But I can't decide which one. So <laughs> I'm probably going to buy both of them. And Juvia's Place. If you have not tried their shadows, do it. Or don't do it if you want to save your money. Because their shadows is some of the best eyeshadows I ever tried. Next up is a little bit cheaper product. And that is an eyeliner from LA Splash. I think it's called their Divine Eyeliner. Wickedly Divine Eyeliner. First of all, it's a really cool packaging. And... Second of all, they have different colors that don't, not many brands have. I don't understand why it's so hard for me to speak sometimes. It's really cool colors. Um, and the packaging looks awesome. I've heard that they are really good. So yeah, I don't usually use so much eyeliner. I don't use eyeliner at all. but. 
I don't know if it's because I only have like black ones so yeah I would really like to try one of those colors because they look so freaking awesome next up we have one thing from Nabla and they came out I think it was the beginning of this summer maybe they came out with was it the close-up collection they came out with brushes and concealer a makeup sponge and powder and I would really like like to buy the concealer brush I heard so much great things about it and I don't have any good concealer brush I usually use my sponge um, but this sponge that I'm using now it's not good to have under your eyes because it's so freaking big and I'm really intrigued to try this because I want to use a concealer brush but I haven't found any good ones yet and people in the beauty community that I trust say it's one of the best concealer brushes they have tried and I trust them so I really want to try it out then the two last things is also two brushes and they are from Wet n Wild and it's their both large and small I think they just call eye brush it's the white and pink ones the handle is white and the bristle the brush is white and pink or is the handle pink I put in pictures of everything so I would really like to try both of these because I heard so great things about them and they are really cheap and what I know you can buy some things from Wet n Wild in Sweden in stores but I have never seen those brushes I don't know which collection or what is but I have never seen them in stores but I really want to try these because so many people that I follow love and like these and they are very cheap I think they are like 23 switch crowns and what can that be like um, maybe three dollars four dollars or something three dollars I think I don't know what the US dollar is so these two I would really like to try both the mini and the large so that is 10 products I want to buy from Beauty Bay and as I said I'm not going to buy all of these because then I wouldn't have any money left but I really hope you enjoyed this video and if there are some products that you really really want to buy from Beauty Bay please comment down below it's always fun to know what other people wishes for and want for products so I really hope you liked this video and if you did please give it, give it a thumbs up huh. and also subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of my videos so i hope you like this and i will see you in the next one